One of the recurring issues with private ownership of exotic cats is what happens to the animal when the owner's health fails. You can usually find a person willing to adopt an ownerless domestic cat, but not exotic ones. The owner of the serval Nala, who lived in Tennessee, went into the hospital and was not expected to survive. His son called asking us to take the cat. But the process to accomplish that isn't simple, particularly for a person who is not the cat's owner and not used to dealing with a wild, dangerous animal. First, the son had to obtain a health certificate from a veterinarian. This is not always easy since most vets are not familiar with doing this, so we guided the son through that. Once he sent us the certificate, we had to apply for a permit from the Florida agency that governs ownership of exotic animals, the FWC, to get permission to import the cat into Florida. That permit can take two weeks, but in this case we were more fortunate and received it from FWC the very same day. The next challenge is getting an airline to agree to transport the animal so it does not have to endure a long journey by vehicle. Once an airline agreed, the son, who had no experience handling an animal like this, had to catch the animal, put it in a dog kennel carrier, and hope when he got to the airport that airline staff honored the commitment to transport the cat. Sometimes they don't. The happy ending occurred when the son emailed us from the airport that Nala was, in his words, paradise bound, and she arrived safely to her new home here at Big Cat Rescue.